Well, how do the jumps it is I, Captain Steve, with another Elton Ring video. Right, so today I'm going to be travelling over from where I've been farming, over this little mini bridge. And there seems to be some sort of structure or tower or something over there that I'm going to go and investigate, Kate. Now, on my way down there, I have noticed there's lots of these little poisonous spores that if you jump too close to them or run over them, they actually pop and put out poison. Be very careful of them, because you do not want to get poisoned, heck no you don't. And now, while I've reached this giant temple with dead sort of gargoyles outside. Hello dead gargoyles, they look so cute. And it's also got a sealed door which you can't get into. Very, very peculiar. We will be getting in there, stay tuned. Heck yes we will. Right though, there's also another lily around here. Now I keep finding these peculiar lilies around the world. They must do something at some stage. So yeah, pick that one up anyway, just something to note. And there's a sort of like a torrent jump spot, which is just down this side of the actual church, just down that flank. So just over there to, from the stairs. If you're looking at the stairs, it's on the uh, yeah, the right hand side of the stairs. Anyhow, I'm gonna head on down here. We're following these crystals down. And look, there's these little glim glimstone fire flyers as well. Lovely. Awesome. It's very windy down here. I mean, look at the trees going mental. Let's ride our horse, human horse horse. Come on, Torrent. We've got places to go and people to see. There's lots of red blood splatters. That's why I've jumped onto my horse, because something might happen along here. I mean, yeah, there's I don't know why people are dying. Hold on, something just spawned behind me. Oh, for fudge's sake. Oh, it was a giant freaking ball bearing. Did you see that? Look, there it is. Well, I died at the same time. That, that startled me. Right, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's, go, let's go and have another look at that. Because that's a little bit... Hmm. I did see somebody on Twitter. I think it may have been Legacy Zero actually put this up. That you can actually make it so the ball bearing misses you. And it goes off the side and you actually get awarded some XP. Let's be cheeky and see if we can do what Legacy Zero managed to pull off. I'm not going to do it on my horse though because yeah I'm not very good at controlling my horse as you can see I just fell off the bloody edge. So here we go I've got all my souls back all 4,000 of them. Right now let's at least this way I can see what's here it comes right okay roly poly yes we managed to do it yes 1,952 Freaking runes for doing very little. It's a little bit sneaky, a little bit tricky to actually pull off, but at least it's got this like sight of grace up here, so I can just go reload. You know what? I could have just brought up my map and I could have instant travelled back there, couldn't I? Probably a tad quicker, maybe to do that rather than to ride my horse. Yeah, perhaps. Anyhow, let's bank that. Uh, let's see if we can level up, shall we? Let's see if we can go up a level. So I'm still level 30. Yes! Yes, I can. I can go up a level. So I'm going to stick that into intelligence. Blood! Lovely job. Right, well, we still haven't got inside the castle, but I'm just going to try that ball bearing dash and roll once more, just to make sure that I can actually pull it off with ease. Right out. So there we go. It's just past this big rock on the right. And then it should spawn in right behind me with a magical teleportation Goku type technique. Instant translocational bell bearing. Where are you, ball bearing? Uh, there it is. Right. Lock on and roll. Ha! Yes, you missed me. Marble madness. Brilliant. Awesome. XP for free. Lovely. I wouldn't say for free. It's a bit of a freaking gamble. If that thing hits you, it's a one hit kill, isn't it? So you can see where this magic is taking place. And yes, I'm using instant translocation now. So there we go. Back up here. Right, so make sure it's all banked. I mean, I, I'm not going to be going up a level every time. You're going to have to do this a heck of a lot of times. And to be honest, it's a little bit boring. Um, I'd much rather be killing stuff to get XP rather than just dodging out the way. But it's quite a nice way of practicing your roll dodges, isn't it? So there we go. We're learning something as we go along. Let's give it one more shot. Okay, right, here we are. Now, I think in Legacy Zero's video, he goes down a little bit further and there's a second ball. So you can do it twice in a row. But yeah, if you go and stuff it up, you know, that, that could be a little bit meh. Because it is tricky. There we go. Reflexes of Bristly. Done. Awesome. Fantastic. Right, well, I've got 4,000 odd runes, which is enough now to go and unlock a spell. So I might jump back and unlock an extra spell from my actual sorcery master. Become a real wizard. Yeah. But anyhow, enough of that. Right oh well to try and get this freaking laser door done and dusted, I tried stopping here until midday, until early morning, and until night. And at night I noticed there is a dark night that spawns 
at night upon the bridge. So we're going to go and take on that dark knight on the bridge, but I've got a sneaky plan. Sneaky man, sneak, sneak plan. Yeah, so I'm going to hit him, slap a jack him, and I'm going to carry on running up the hill like freaking lightning and I'm going to step on all the poisonous spores and I'm hoping he chases me hopefully he gives chase and hopefully he's going to get poison located and I'm going to be victorious or at least get him sort of to a point where I might be able to stand a freaking chance Chikapow! take that knight of evil come get me black knight because I am the white knight come on Right, okay, right, uh, I'm not going to look behind me because that will cause me to brown trouser myself, but I can hear that he's right on my frickin' tail. So here we go, I'm going to try and pop as many of these as I blinking can. Take that, Dark Knight, and yeah, you can see there, look, his, his health is going down in very small increments. Right, oh, I think I've got him. Right, so let's, uh, let's go around here, and let's take a little look, so see if he's still about. Right, I think I've gone far too far now, I think this is probably far enough. I'm poisoned too, though, that's... Well, that's what that green bar indicates. I don't know. I don't seem to be taking any damage myself. OK, well, there's these two energy bars, one for his horse and one for him as a rider. Let's just watch and see if they keep going down. Yes, yes, they are. He is taking damage, so it does work in theory. But did I pop enough of those poison spores to give him a heavy enough dose? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. So I'm just going to watch over here on this careful little perch up here. I don't think I can hit him with magic from up here. But no, 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 he is taking very small amounts. Hmm. Okay, well, probably... I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. Right, oh, well, here we go then. Let's go for round two against the Dark Knight. And we're resting until night time. So, yeah, I actually walked over and grabbed a new magical spell before I thought I'd give it a second try. So, lovely. I've got myself two lovely spells. Well, um, I've got the one with the swords now that dance around. So, hopefully, we get to use that later. Anyway, let's go and hit this Dark Knight in the freaking rectum with my spiky end of my stick. Yeah, because the blunt end is just it's not as fun, is it? Look, boom. There you go. Cool, let's go, let's go. Run like the frickin' wind, little horse. Okay, right, now I'm going to tread on as many of these as I possibly can. I'm going to deliberately aim for them. Because as before, I was hitting, like, you know, every other one. Oh, fudge, I'm poisoned. That's not so great. But hopefully he's poisoned too. There we go. Hopefully he's heavily poisoned. Okay, he's taking damage. I can see his bar is moving slightly quicker than it was before. There we go. It's going down in bigger waves and increments. Right, I'm going to let him catch... Oh, enemy failed. No, well, that's... That freaking worked. That when I was expecting it to go down to no, freaking dead. And I got a new ash, ash of war. Brilliant. Ha <laughs> ha. Hold on. How many? How many? Did I just? Did I read that right? That popped up a bit quick. But I just did. I think I just got forty-two thousand runes. No. Really? I get level up. Yes. <laughs> Oh my days! Right, okay, we're going to be piling that into intelligence. And we might as well make faith a nice round 10. I'm a little bit OCD with numbers. Probably not the best for stat gaining, is it? Because I'm probably making an all-rounder build now, rather than a freaking powerful wizard. Well, I'll make that 10, but every single point I get from here on in, I think is going to go straight into intelligence. So I'm going to make myself a glass cannon. Yeah, so if I get hit, I'm dead. The idea is, hopefully I can just pin them down with freaking magic and keep going mental like a freaking wizard possessed, like Rasputin, the madman, and hopefully take them out. Right, well, I've tried stopping till day and then stopping again till night and all sorts of other stuff to see if I can get him to respawn, because that would just be magical, wouldn't it? No, you only do, can you do this once, by the looks of things, people. If there is a secret sneaky way to get him to respawn, no, let me know. That would be freaking great, wouldn't it? But I think he's dead, diddly and dead. Now, I don't think I can do that over and over again, but that would be a surefire way of hitting max level if he could. So, yeah, let us know if that is a thing. Right, well, that force field door is still there, and stopping from day until night and all sorts of other shenanigans has done fudging nothing. So, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get in through the roof. Maybe they've left a window open or something. So let's call in Torrent, and we're going to have to use that sort of vortex to jump up in the air. But rather than going up on the cliff face and getting all the stuff over by the graves, yes, there's lots of stuff up there. Go grab it. It's lovely. Loads and loads of gold rooney things. Right, I'm going to go and jump up onto the roof. Up on the roof. 
Okay, right, let's jump onto that. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Freaking missed it. I've already been around all that lower area. There's nothing on the lower area. So now I'm trying to jump all the way over there. So yeah, no open windows on mid-level. So I now want to see if I can get onto that. Ha! Yes, there's a ledge. There's a freaking door. Ha! Let's go up the stairs first. Let's see if there's anything up on the roof. Okay, there's another door here. Brilliant. And there is a chest, a chest with blue light coming out the sides. What have I got for myself today? A memory stone! Boom! What does that do? I think it lets me remember more than two spells. Maybe I can now hold three spells. Awesome! You know what? I'm going to jump back down. See if that's the case. Apply another one. And then I reconvene down by that door on the second level. Not up in the roof here. So yeah, excellent. So yeah, yeah the warning of a mimic. They're trolls, aren't they, these messages? What a load of shite. Anyway, we're back up, and I have got three spells now. And I've got the Dancing Sword spell. We're going to have a go with that. See how much damage we can do with the Dancing Sword spell. Right, OK, right. So I've called in the lift. Let's head on down, because I've already been down here once and got murdered. OK, I got murdered. I got murdered. It's a giant freaking head. And um, he... he oh. It's a freaking git. He pumps out all this purple gunge. And the purple gunge, if it hits you, you dead. You dead. Right, so let's head on down here. And uh, I think I've already picked up my uh, souls the last time. I haven't got many souls anyway. There they are. Oh, no, there they are. There's my souls. So I've only got, I think there's only like 300 there or something stupid. 193. Brilliant. Right, okay, cool. Right, now we're going to take him out. So here we go. There we are. I've got that one, which is like my shotgun blast. You've seen that one before. Kabow! And that done 10 damage. <laughs> 10 damage. Oh dear, that, that's not good, is it? Right, okay, let's try our magical dancing swords. Dancing swords, attack. Kaboom. 15, 15 damage. You're having a freaking laugh, mate. No, right, okay, well this one uses a lot less FP. And yes, it's doing 15 damage. So I'm just going to throw these at you. Yeah, yeah, you little freaking, it looks like a... Yeah, it looks like a freaking ravaged testicle or something, doesn't it? I mean, look, it's got all little faces on it and stuff. It's like something like Nightmare on Elm Street. If Freddy Krueger had testicles, that's probably what they look like. Right, here we go. Take this, you, Freddy Krueger's testicle. Boom. And he probably has got testicles, and they probably do look like that. Right, okay. Right, so here we are. Let's, um, let's recharge this back up again. Oh, my days. I've just got weird, weird, a weird mind. Okay, well, that's put all sorts of weird images there in my head now. Not great. Right, take this. Boom! Die! Freaking get back. I don't know what it's called. I don't think it... Normally, you get an energy bar, and it tells you what the actual creature's name is. So I'm just going to call this one Freddy Krueger's testicle. So die! Yes, take that, you. Brilliant. Because otherwise, what, what do you call it? It's like a giant meatball full of freaking faces. Or is it stone? Who knows what it's freaking made of. But it's going to bloody die. Oh, I'm, I'm going to run out of magical pots at this rate, aren't I? This is taking freaking years. Okay, I've hardly dented it. <sighs> okay, all right. Yes, I'm completely out of magic now. No, last bottle, last bottle. All right, here we go. Well, that's that's hardly doing any damage whatsoever. I'm going to have to go at this with a freaking sword in a moment, which is what I did the first time I got here. And uh, I hit it, like, what, four times? And I was doing fine. I got this energy down to half. But you see, like, it spurs out towards the top and around the room. And you think, yeah, I've got quite a bit of time. Every now and again, it will just breathe out of the front straight away. So you, you barely get one hit in and it gets you and kills you. So you know what? It's best not to be greedy. And it's best to just, you know, slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Yeah. So we're just going to do this nice and slowly and hopefully kill him. I'm just going to do an air whack. And that's um, a full on whack. That's the R2 button. That's my heavy hit. So I'm jumping up in the air. Heavy hit. Rolly, rolly, poly out the way. And it's just rinse and repeat. So you know what? I'm just going to cut the footage until I get to the last sort of swave of attack. So here we go. It's about to die. Freddy Krueger's testicle. Meet your freaking maker. Chikapa! You're done. Chikapum boom. Done, dilly, done. Now... Come on, doorway, open up and let me out the front door. And uh, no, that's not a thing. And I can't break any of these gems. I thought I'd be able to smash these or something, or after that thing died and disintegrated, I thought all this would sort of vanish, okay? And I thought the door would open, and I'd be like, Bruh! No, nothing, nothing. And what did it give me? Nothing. And how much XP did I get? Hardly anything. 
Was it actually worth it? I'm like, gosh, I've got, I got about 900 XP out of it or something. No, not worth it. Didn't drop anything good. Didn't do nothing. Uh, yeah, get back. I was hoping it would drop some sort of, you know, magic scroll so I could take it back to my wizardy master and learn some new magics, especially since we got a memory stone from the roof. That would have played quite nicely into things, wouldn't it, really? Or even, you know, like my master has that stone helmet that almost looks like one of the faces that was inside of that testicle. Would have been nice to have got that helmet, wouldn't it? Yes, from software. Anyway, I am now level 39. Until next time, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Cheery bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.